Hi, my name is Jared and I'm a technical support engineer here at Hawkridge Systems. This video covers how to edit the Mechatronic folder sharing permissions after installing SolidWorks PCB services so that all users, ECAD or MCAD, are able to edit the folder as needed for proper collaboration. This video also covers how to add a role upon user creation. To begin, launch your browser, navigate to the SolidWorks PCB login page. You can do so by typing in the URL field the name of the server where SolidWorks PCB services is installed, colon 9780, which is the default port. Once at the login page, enter the appropriate credentials and sign in. Once logged into SolidWorks PCB services, navigate to the Users. And here we'll get some additional tabs for Users and Roles. You can see that you can add user in addition to adding a role. We'll go ahead and remove this user real quick just so we can run through the creation of a new user. After clicking Add User, Fill out the appropriate information. And if you'd like to add a role at this time, you can click in the New Role section and begin typing in the name of the role. After saving, you can see we've created a new user. And on the roles tab, we now have one member within our designers group. In order to edit the folder sharing permissions on the Mechatronic folder, first navigate to the Vault tab where you will then see the Mechatronic 3D models. You can right click, select Share Folder, and here we get the ability to add users, add roles, and you can also change some general settings. Private for only users or groups explicitly granted permission. Anyone in the organization can view where anyone in the organization can change. Again, these are higher level settings that can be set to your liking. You can then add users by typing in the username, selecting OK, and then want to make sure to check the Can Edit checkbox. This will now allow the user to edit the Mechatronic folder for proper collaboration. Again, you can add additional users, or if you wanted to add roles, you could do that as well. There's also the Apply to Children setting uh, for any child folders. Again, select OK. And that would need to be done for each MCAD and ECAD user looking to collaborate with SOLIDWORKS PCB, SOLIDWORKS PCB services, SOLIDWORKS PCB connector, and SOLIDWORKS 3D design. I hope this video has been helpful outlining how to edit the Mechatronic folder permissions after installing SOLIDWORKS PCB services so that all users can properly collaborate their PCB designs. Thank you for watching and please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our website at www.hawkridgesys.com for more knowledge-based material.